in today's video i'm gonna show you how we can perform an upset operation in microsoft fabric using fabric data pipeline an upset combines the logic of both an insert and update operation simply means if records exist in the destination we update them but if they don't we insert it as a new row and this is very common pattern in data engineering especially when dealing with incremental loads or changes coming from source systems by the way if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and toggle on the bell icon to be notified of new videos let's jump into the sample data set and the full implementation all right so this is my microsoft fabric platform now before we jump into the full implementation let's understand the structure of our data set i'm going to navigate to the bottom by closing this window and i've got these two csv files on the right hand side this is named customers initial dot csv and this contains all the customer details which include the id the name email city and the postal code and then on the left hand side this is name customers new and updated records dot csv and this also contains the id name email city and postal code awesome now let's just make a quick comparison between the two files on the right hand side you observe that alice Smith was living in london postal code sw1a 1a but she moved to warwick in the cv 36 2 pa so this simply means that when we perform the upsat this is going to be updated from london to warwick city with the appropriate postal code based on the key columns we're going to specify similarly when you look at bob jones this person was living in Manchester in this postal code, but the person moved to Liverpool City with this new postal code. Again, this is going to be updated. And when you look at, for instance, Carol Lee, David Kim, and so on and so forth, all their record remains the same on both sides, both in the initial and the customer's new and updated records. So this is not going to be inserted. This is going to be dropped automatically because we don't want to include duplicate record. And when you observe, for instance, Abiola David and Richard James, these are new records. So we expect this new record to be inserted. So in, in this case, we are performing the update and insert operation. And that's exactly what Upsat is all about. So let's go ahead and implement all of this in our Microsoft Fabric Data Platform. I'm going to come back to my browser and then I want to provision a workspace. I'm going to call this one demo of SAT and I'm going to click on apply at the bottom. And this is now created. I'm going to click on this new item and I want to set for leak house workload. So I'm going to give that a click and let me call this one of SAT underscore LH. You can give whatever name you like. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on create at the bottom and it's going to provision the lake house so i'm going to go ahead and create a directory and i'm going to load my files into the directory so i'm going to come to the file store and i'm going to right click and i want to use the new subfolder it's the same thing as directory in the azure data lake storage gentle and let's call this on sales underscore files and i'm going to click on create so this is now created and I'm going to come to that, right click and use the upload functionality and I want to upload the files. I'm going to browse and first we want to bring in the customers initial.csv. So I'm going to double click and then click on the upload functionality. So this is now uploaded to the file store of the leak house. I can click on that to preview and I can turn this to a table view. We can include the first row as header and we can see all the records we have the customer id name email city and the postal code that's awesome now i'm going to come back to the workspace and i want to create a pipeline so i'm going to set for data pipeline let's just leave this name click on create and it's going to be created so once that's created we can use the copy data activity to perform the data orchestration while focusing on the upsat so once this is ready i'm going to click on the pipeline activity or i can even come to the activities at the top and i can set for the copy data activity which is the first on the left hand side so just give that a click and i'm going to add to the pipeline canvas and this is now added i can under the general give this a name and call this one upsat operation 
copy data and once i'm done i'm going to come to the source now in the source we have to establish connection to our leak house so i'm going to click on this and i've got this leak house connection already where all my leak houses were stored so i'm going to give that a click and i can see the leak house so i'm going to click on this and i've got this upsat underscore lh that we just created and then for the root folder we want to actually access all our files in the file store so i'm going to click on the files and then for the file path type i'm going to maintain this file path and then for the file path i'm going to click on this browse and i can pick that specific subfolder we just created which is the same thing as the directory in the adls and i'm going to double click on that now in our case i'm not going to pick the customers underscore initial dot csv because we want to make sure that once we load the customers new and updated record all of these are picked up automatically without add coding any selection of any files so make sure nothing is selected just click on ok and i can turn off this because we're not performing any recursion and then we have to specify the file format which in this case is delimited text and i can see the preview data button now available for me to preview so give that a click and then we can see all the records the eight records in that file which is quite amazing i'm going to close this for now and let's come to the destination the same thing as the sync in adf so i'm going to choose the connection again i want to point to the lake house abiola and for the lake house i'm going to choose the same upsat lake house because we're going to be ingesting data as a delta table not as a file in the destination so i'm going to maintain the tables root folder and for the table name now we don't have any table so i'm going to use this create new table automatically and this is going to create the table for me and let's call this table sales and once i'm done i'm going to click on create and the table is now created and for the table option this is the core part we have this upset which is currently in preview when you click on this you can see more details insert new values to existing table and update existing records or values so i'm going to click on upset table action and i'm going to move this up a little bit i'm going to come to the key columns so when you click on this you can see choose which column is used to determine if a row from the source matches a row from the sink that is in the destination so i'm going to click on the new and then for the column names i just want to use the customer id and let me add one more we also need the customer name so once this is sorted i don't need to do anything on the mapping or the setting side this is all fine so i'm going to just move down a little bit and then i can come to the run and i can click on the validate to check for any errors no errors i can click on the run and it's going to prompt me to save and run the copy data activity in my pipeline so click on that and i can say gathering your changes and this is now executing so i'm just going to move this up a little bit and i can see what's going on at the bottom so i can see the output we have the name of the activity the status and then the run start and the current duration i'm going to click on this to refresh all right so the run succeeded and this is now working now i can click on this output now this is actually going to give you some information for example we have the data red and then we have the important one like the row red eight rows and rows copy from the source to the destination so the same number of rows excellent now i'm going to come back to my lake house and i can click on this to refresh as soon as i click on the refresh i'm going to come to the tables and i can see the sales delta table now when i click on that this is going to take some time before i'm able to see the content of the sales delta table while this is actually going on i'm going to use the SQL analytics endpoints to preview the data, which is much faster, a little bit compared to checking the side. So let's come back to the workspace and I can click on that. So the SQL analytics endpoint, click on that. And I'm going to just expand the DBO schema and I'm going to expand the tables and I can see the sales. So click on that and I'm just going to wait for some couple of seconds. We should be able to see all the columns. All right, there we go. So in this case, all the eight initial records are now fully ingested which is really fantastic again you observe that alice smith is in this case living in london city with his postcode and then bob jones is living in manchester with his new postcode and then we don't have record for abiola david and rachel james so once we 
load a new file into the file store and then we run the data pipeline again all these two records should be updated from london to warwick i believe and then this should be updated from manchester to liverpool so this may make the slowly changing dimension type one so i'm just going to quickly right click on this and i can create a duplicate and once that's created i'm going to navigate back to my lake house and then i want to point to the file store so that we can upload the customers new and updated record dot csd so click on that and i can right click and use the upload functionality and i'm going to browse and i'm going to double click on the customers new and updated record and click on upload so this is now uploaded so i can come back to my data pipeline and again i'm going to quickly just show you in the source by coming to the copy data activity and in the source so you observe that we are not at coding the specific file name and this is actually smart because we want to be able to logically read all the updated and new records from the customers new and updated records.csv so in this case we are not coding any values or any of the files so that's cool now i'm just going to come to the destination just to show you again again we don't need to do anything we've already specified the table action which is the upset and then we have the key columns that we're using to compare whether the records exist or not in the source and the destination once this is sorted i'm going to just click on run and it's going to start gathering my changes and we're going to see the data pipeline again provision now in a business context so you won't actually schedule the pipeline but in this case we're just performing a trigger operation so i'm just going to click on the refresh again and this should be in progress and let's just wait for some couple of moments and let's see the status all right so the run succeeded beautiful now I'm going to maintain this and then i'm going to come back here so once that's done i'm going to come to the sql analytic endpoints so this is the one here click on that and i'm going to click on this to refresh in order to see the changes and this can take a while i can just click on my url so you may have to do this some couple of moments before you see the updated record and of course the new two records so i just click on that and let's see the structure of the table amazing so when i come here you can see initially we ingested eight records all right so this perform an insert operation within the upside under the hood and when i come here there we go so let's quickly take this and it's made so you can see the record has been updated from london to warwick absolutely awesome and then when we also consider bob jones Initially, Bob Jones was living in Manchester in this postal code. When I come here, you can see it's now living in Liverpool. Absolutely awesome. And then looking at Carol Lee, David Kim, Emma Davis, Frank Wilson, Grace Taylor, and Henry Brown. So the records still remain the same. And you can see we are not having duplicate record of all these people. So we just have a single record. And that is really fantastic. And then coming back to the insert operation so we can see that we have new two customers inserted we have abela david who is living in london at this postal code and rachel james living this postal code initially we don't have them yet so this upset operation is working pretty fine as expected in the microsoft fabric data pipeline i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like share with your friends comment and follow me for more videos because there's a lot to come thank you for watching and bye for now cheers